Chicago radio community has lost a legend. Purvis Spann, known as the Blues Man, has died. WGN Shannon Halligan is live outside WVON studios with a glimpse of Spann's celebrated career. Shannon? Yeah, credited as the person who put some of the biggest artists on the map, Purvis Spann will be remembered as a music powerhouse. Purvis Spann, the blues man, was so much more than just a disc jockey to former alderman and WVON talk show host Dorothy Tillman. And I was very proud of, of Purvis Spann. He wasn't just uh, some DJ, and I don't like folks to say that, because he did more than that. Uh, when we came here with Dr. King, he was there. Uh, he was there with Dr. King, he was there for Harold Washington. He's been there for the community and for other people. Span helped build the radio station WVON AM. Tillman said she's known Span since the 60s. She said he was a visionary and his legacy will live on in the influence he had in music, the community, and the world. The Jackson 5 would not have existed had it not been for Purvis Span. At the Regal, on right next door, uh, most of those artists, he broke that music. And when, when the boys came, he let these boys come on, on stage. He was more than just an announcer. He could have just been an announcer, but he was more than that. Uh, he could have just spent records, but he was more than that. He made a lot of artists, uh, Marsha and the Shylights, when you think of them. Uh, you think of Jerry Butler, you think of all, um, Aretha Franklin. Coco Taylor, B.B. King. WGN audio engineer Bill Crane worked with Span from 66 to 78 and said his life and wisdom will not be forgotten. Not only well lived, uh, he, he was a teacher. In fact, his daughter followed in his tracks with the VON now, you know. But of course, it's quite a different format and different time. But he carried that right through the family. And Span passed away at the age of 89 due to complications from Alzheimer's. Funeral services are still pending. Live in the South Loop, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Quite the loss, Shannon. Thank you so much.